What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and today we're back for an M Creator tutorial. It's been a while since we actually did M Creator videos but I'm not going to leave the series unfinished, there's still a few different episodes and videos I need to do before the M Creator series is finished. So this video we're going to be covering achievements, something which we've not actually managed to cover yet. <laughs> So we're going to be doing one simple achievement in this video, but I'm also going to kind of explain how they work so you can apply the same fundamentals and the same idea to other features or to other ways of implementation. So basically for this tutorial you're going to have to have a block already made. Now I made a block in another tutorial so if you're completely new to the software go on my channel check out that video, I've got videos on literally nearly everything in M Creator, so that'll show you how to actually make a block which is the basics so we're gonna create an achievement and the achievement I'm gonna create is an achievement where if we break this block it's gonna give us an achievement for breaking the block simple right so click add I'm gonna go and we're gonna select achievement which is at the top and I'm just gonna call it mod achievement it doesn't really matter you can call it what you want and the achievements gonna be triggered by breaking the block so I'm gonna select the icon as this custom sword block which I want to actually break. So it's going to have the icon of the block and the achievement name is going to be called breaking blocks and the achievement description is break a sword block. Achievement type select task it doesn't really matter this is just how it is visually and what it's relating to. Story I'm going to click on mind stone so in the advancements tab it's going to show in the mind stone section and that's all that we need to do for that part. So now what we want to do is we want to go to our actual block and click edit and we want to go to one of the last pages where it shows the procedures. Now you could trigger the achievement if you're doing a different achievement when you right click on the block. You could trigger it when redstone turns off on the block, when someone walks on it, when someone destroys it or when the block's added. And there's so many different things we can trigger it to when redstone's turned on onto the block we can trigger an achievement if you've got like a machine block or something but we're going to do it when the block's destroyed by the player because we're going to break it and get the achievement which is breaking blocks so click add and just press create procedure and now what we want to do is it's really simple you want to go to player.procedures and click on add achievement to provided NC or player and want to drag it and connect it to this green part and press add procedure literally it's as simple as that so now if we click next page we can just mess about and just leave all that stuff. Now, what we can do is we can test it out just to make sure it works. So we can click this little green play button in the top right to test it out. And now we're going to launch it and make sure that it actually works. So now we've loaded Minecraft. I'm just going to go on a random, just generic world. And what we're going to do is we're going to test if this thing works. So we're going to place down the block and we're going to go to the achievements or advancement section. And currently there's nothing there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to spawn this sword block. We're now in creative mode in a random map. And I'm going to place it down. And now hopefully when we punch this thing, it'll give us an achievement, advancement made, breaking block. So now you'll see it says advancement because we've attached the achievements to the actual advancement tab. So it's as simple as that, guys, to trigger and make an achievement. And basically now if we go on advancements, We'll have Minecraft and then we'll have the Stone Age, Mine Stone with your new pickaxe, which we haven't got yet, but that's the actual advancement tab which we sprouted this off of. So now we have Break a Sword Block and it's completed and it's in the advancements tab. So that's how to make an achievement and add it as an advancement. Really as simple as that, guys, and now we have a really awesome achievement. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. Personally, I'm working on a really huge mod right now and I plan to release it maybe in a few weeks or a few months and I will do a mod showcase and review on the channel. So if you wanna see that awesome mod, make sure to like the video. And if this video is helpful, make sure to press subscribe subscribe, turn on notifications and drop a comment below what you want to see next because if you go on my channel I've already done most of the stuff on M Creator, so you should probably check that out first but there's quite a few things I haven't actually done yet on M Creator as tutorials so I'm going to finish that series before I finish it for good so be expecting more tutorials coming soon. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.